Welcome to the Wally Show precast, and uh, we're Facebooking, uh, Facebooking, we're Facebook living this today. Uh, and so this is the first time we've had an actual precast in a while because we have a podcast we did Yay! already. Yay! And I got to tell you, uh, not to put too fine a point on it, but epic is the word that's being thrown around <laughs> about today's show. So good luck. Literally Enjoy the best that. live show we've done in like two weeks. Yeah, without a doubt. Without a doubt. Hey, so. I was here two weeks ago. <laughs> By yourself. Yeah. What what do those days look like? Uh when do you roughly come in? <laughs> <laughs> Later than I was Cause, supposed cause to. Because the rest of us were in the Dominican. Yes. And you were left behind. Yes. Like Nicolas Cage. Yes. Um, so I was the overnight guy left at five and I'd roll in at like five thirty. I get I got breakfast. Technically every day. you're supposed to be here when he leaves, right? Yes. Technically. Somebody is. Technically. Technically, okay. If my bosses are watching, I was here at five. Yes, at least you showed up. That's... No, I was I was here sh- shortly after five. It got a little bit later as the week went on, and then <clears throat> I, I, I tried to work through things slowly because I knew I didn't have a ton to do. I do remember one time over Christmas when Becca was working, and I felt so bad. She was the only one working because she had squandered all of her vacation <laughs> days on Joey's illness, and uh, I came in and brought her breakfast, and she wasn't even here. I'm like. <laughs> Wait a minute. But I came in that day, yeah. just later. I just I just figured you had to be here roughly the same time. Like, nope. somebody had to watch something uh, of the show. But... No, they told me, I think they they pitied me, and so they told me that I could come in later and oh, sleep really? in a little bit over Christmas. Yeah. Oh, well, that's nice, actually. It's better than so, breakfast. Back to a normal uh, show, a normal precast. Uh, we have a couple questions. No birthday shout-outs, but now people are just deciding that they want to ask questions without uh, a birthday, which I'm fine with, too. That's uh, not a problem. This is an interesting one from Jason. I'm currently studying criminal justice, Ooh. which actually inspired me to write this. While I do not uh, require the shout-out, I have a question. Uh, I would be interested to hear all of your opinions on what would you like to see made illegal? And he he took the serious thing at like abortion, take that off the table and things like that. So he his thing is, uh, what would you like to be see? What would you like to see be made illegal? Jorts. Uh, <laughs> that is my that's the first thing that came to mind is jorts for guys. You gotta let that go. Let the jean shorts go. And so you could add into that uh, skinny jeans, obviously. No, 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 yes, no, 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 no. Okay, the All motion passes. It's yep. either skinny jeans or no pants. You make the call. <laughs> make the decision now. All in favor of skinny jeans? Yes. <laughs> oh, well, thank you, ladies. None of them raise their hands. Okay, so, uh, yeah. I, I Once you wear skinny jeans, you cannot go back, even as a man. Um, <laughs> because you can't take them off. That's true. I have the same pair I've been wearing for seven years now. Uh, what else? Uh, what would you like to see uh, made illegal? I know uh, I'm springing this on you. Driving without a turn signal. Yes, uh, amen, amen. I think that is illegal. Oh, and really? some just some choose just to ignore blatantly it. ignore hmm. it. I use it when I want to. Yeah. I use it sporadically. I'll usually use it if I'm following one of you so you can I mean, see me using it. Technically, everyone uses it sporadically. It's off, it's on, it's off, it's yes. on. Yes, you have a good point. Zach's in reform already. Uh, <laughs> I'm on my third cup of coffee. Oh, are you really? Yes. Oh, which reminds me, I'm going to write this down for tomorrow. Uh, we oh. got to do another uh, bad joke segment. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I just thought of that. Uh, I don't know either. That's... Yeah. He totally disconnected. <laughs> Got it. Um, I have something. Yes, Betty Rock. I have two things. One is funny. One is serious. Oh, really? Um, Go with serious first. Oh, the serious one. I don't know. It's not really a, an illegal thing. It's just that I want, and this sounds terrible, the death penalty. What is wrong with it? Wait. What? You no, want it made illegal? No, 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 no. I don't want it made illegal. But I watch these crime shows, and they're like, and he was given the death penalty. And then they catch up with him 50 years later, and he's like, oh, well, what was the point in the death penalty? It's just staying in prison for longer. Yeah. And then there's some that don't even want to leave prison. It's like, what? <laughs> I feel get, like we're diving get, into something deeper you than your yeah. rent expected. paid for. You get your food paid for. Uh, like, yeah, they don't want to leave. In well, all then seriousness, it shouldn't be that way. I will tell you this: in all seriousness, if um, you give them the death penalty, they give them the death penalty. In westerns, <laughs> like Clint Eastwood, hang them high. Oh my goodness, <laughs> she is in I rare don't form. Want to? Okay, what's your funny one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just wondering what what. what I will say ones. this. I'm just just wondering what is the what is the hesitation what is the reason to have a death penalty if you do if not you enact do it, it. Right, right i understand i think that. mine is more of a question right that's yes that had nothing to do with the illegal thing um yeah the death penalty <laughs> is one of those things too that you because it is such a serious and final mm-hmm. judgment 
you have to have due process and you have to have the option for multiple appeals to make sure that you get it right. Because there have been people, as horrific as it is, that have been innocent, that have either been sentenced to death and then found, you know, that they were innocent later or yes, but there not are found some, that. There are some crimes that I've watched where there was this no is Again, this is hesitation. all based on her watching Investigation <laughs> <Yeah>. Discovery. <laughs> <laughs> I, yes, I agree with that. But they have the they have the forensic uh, stuff. Yes, whatever. I, I'm not on the, the forensic files. Windows, whatever. But it, it it places them there, and they had to do it. Or there's video camera footage of them. Like, come on. So it seems like a slam so dunk. This is it. Right. You're done. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? I do understand what you're saying, and I spent a mm. lot of years feeling similar to that. And then also, too, about like being in prison and it being like, wow, you're just getting your meals, and all you do is just siphon off of the system. And then I had a brother go to prison. And then I learned more about what that life is. Mm -hmm. And it's not good, you know, and it's it's kind of like I, I used to be like, well, why do they get to have cable? You know, why do they get to, you know, have Internet, which my brother in his place doesn't get, which now I'm like, I wish they had that so that they could actually go to school and go to school online to better themselves to prevent that cycle of people going back and forth. And like for me, cable, I, I understand it now. It's like it's distraction and it keeps you from. Like plotting escape is not that it keeps you from that. If you're gonna do that, you're gonna do it anyway. But it actually helps come like keep things calm and keep people like not just idle hands or the devil's workshop kind of thing. It helps with that. Okay. Uh, so I, I definitely have had a, a change of heart having a different experience with it now. I'm just but saying. I get your frustration. Okay, that's all I'm saying. Now my funny one is. Okay, good. We're, real quick, do you guys know if it's possible to kick someone off of Facebook Live? Because Caitlin just wrote, um, Crocs should most definitely be made illegal. Oh, and that's, Caitlin. I'm liking that comment. <laughs> that's <laughs> legit. That's yeah. ridiculous. I if, agree if, with her. If skinny jeans have to go, then Crocs have to go. Okay, yeah. I would give up Crocs if To if get me out of my skinny, skinny jeans. Here's, the thing, here's something. Which, Wait. Okay, since I'm the only single person here, the only single woman here. Uh, the skinny jeans can look good yes. on specific men. Thank you. But you are not that specific. <laughs> on that, really? On that exclusive yeah, let me, let, me be, let me be very <laughs> clear. <I'm... laughs> so it can look good, yes. just not over yes. 40. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Okay, my funny one is. <laughs> she just came people, to play today. The people that are on their bicycles and they're in the street. They have to be. Get off the street. They have to be. They, <laughs> they can't be on the sidewalk. Yeah, Why it's, not? It's, it's actually illegal. illegal to ride on the sidewalk. Well, then I'm going to hit them. Like, they're so slow. Get off. <laughs> you know, I bet he's former the death penalty. Get before, on the road! Before we went to uh, the precast, because we're again we're Facebook living it. Zach had asked me, "Hey, do you have anything you want to promote in this?" I'm like, "Nothing really shocking or anything, or like to, to really get people to go in." I always should have just said, "As Betty's in rare form." <laughs> I, if I had known half the things she was going to say today, we'll relabel it. That would have been yeah. fantastic. Um. Also, I would like oh, to point more. out. No, yes. I would also like to point out that Becca and Wally got in a little tiffed before the live stream happened. Oh, I know. Oh, we don't need to go there. Yeah, we because always... he will say something he regrets. Yes, we, no, uh, but we he always fight about certain it. things. He likes you should to regret say it. it. I do not. That's re true. I regret nothing. Let's just say I regret nothing that. I give people the benefit of the doubt, and while I think everyone is fat, which is really hypocritical, <laughs> that's all. <laughs> Shots fired again. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just honest, and that's all. And I'm honest about myself, too. Like, I'm like, yeah, I'm overweight, and I'm out of shape. So, like, I can comment on somebody else being overweight and out of shape because I'm not, like, But just because judging. you're comfortable with it and right. calling yourself fat doesn't mean that someone but else isn't trying and I not and, trying and I, to And I didn't fat. even say that. Like, what I was saying was it was good that they were doing that because— Oh wow! Uh, yep. is, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, you're, no, Don't, we're now we're done. No, now we're done. <laughs> well, it's funny because at first he wasn't commenting, but he's sitting over on the other side of the table, like <laughs> I can't keep his mouth shut. <laughs> now I can. Can, uh, I, can I give my two crimes? Please, thank you. All right, one uh, when you're streaming things online, uh, this happens to be all the time where it plays the 
that makes you sit through the whole commercial. Yes. And then it can't load the real content. Yes. So you sit through oh. all the things. Like, that should be a finable offense. They should go to, no, that that death penalty. Death penalty. <laughs> right there. There you go, Rock. Amen. There's a good chance like for that. They're 100% getting the ad to always work. <laughs> and then the content's like, yeah, 50-50. Uh -huh. Oh, 100%. Or you have to watch the same one. Like, I was, Over, watching, oh I was goodness. watching a stream the other night, and they played the same commercial three times in a row. Yeah. And oh. once I've yeah. been to your site and I have not left your site, don't show me a, a, a commercial for every video I want to click on. And that drives me crazy yes. about ABC. And I am so sick of commercials being way louder than the show. Like, I don't want to have to turn yes. my TV up, turn it down, well, turn it up, That turn was down. made illegal technically right. a few years ago on television. But it's not working. It's not working, and it's not being applied to, like, streaming. Yeah. yeah. It should, because that's it. insane. I would like to point out at this juncture that we just finished our compassion campaign on Friday. <laughs> 2,615 kids were sponsored that have real problems. <laughs> exactly. And then we're, we're what, two days away from it complaining about internet. <laughs> uh, I love this comment before we move on. Robin said, don't point out the love handles in another man until you're, you first get rid of your own belly. Yes. Pretty sure that's biblical. <laughs> yes, it is. And I get it. Like, I, I am the first to admit that I'm, oh, I'm, I'm uh, overweight and I'm out of shape and I need to do something about just those two. <laughs> so maybe you shouldn't point fingers at someone but else that's that what is... lets me do that because you're fat mm -hmm. you get the same yes call other people yes fat? it's why it's like why if you're jewish you can tell a jewish joke but you can't like or why or i can't but see what if someone I... doesn't want to accept that they're jewish oh okay <laughs> can we move on? so what was your other I'm one calling okay. jewish something mm -hmm. else <laughs> my other one is uh, along the justice lines as well and more serious but uh, you should not be allowed to be in prison for something that is no longer a crime. Like, mm, there yes. are people with really, really long drug sentences that if they did the exact same thing today, it's not even illegal. Right, like in Colorado where they yeah. uh, legalized marijuana, if you were in jail for that, that would be a hard, like, like that's, hey, that, that, that just out? doesn't seem Even right. in other states, you just get, like, a slap on the wrist. Like, I, I don't know if I've told this, I haven't told this story on air, but... Um, our first anniversary, the hotel room next door, we're participating in some activities. And so we called the hotel because our room smelled so really? bad. And so the cops came and we were like at the door listening. And uh, the cops are like, you know, it's going to be legal someday, but it's not yet. So don't let me get called back here again. And that right. was it. Whereas 20 years ago, mm -hmm. you know, people are still serving that sentence. Yeah, right. It's and not the worth the paper. And I'm not making a pro or anti drug statement at all, but in, in any law, if it's legal now, right. You shouldn't still be paying the price, even though you broke the law. Back right. Then, yeah. 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 Like retroactively, yeah. you should be like, okay, we're good now. Yeah. Yeah. I actually, I like that. That's a good one. Caitlin says, uh, loving Dirk more than Becca should be. Illegal. <laughs> oh no, it's not illegal at all. It's just beautiful. Uh, Okay, all right, so let's get into a couple of things that we didn't uh, get to on the show today. Uh, least of these, what do you got, Lady Rock? Um, so Justin Bieber was uh, skated in this year's NHL All-Star Celebrity Shootout, which is a charity game that takes place the night before the NHL All-Star game. So he actually gets out there. And he's Canadian, so he yeah. should be great. Oh, yeah. So he's in his padding, and he's in his little skates, and he goes out <laughs> there, and he's like, hi, I'm Justin Bieber, here I go. But then he got body chucked by an NHL veteran, Chris Pronger. And you see this one picture where it's like close up, and Justin Bieber's face is like, and you then, have no idea. When I saw the headline, Bieber gets checked by uh, Pronger, and then they had the picture of his face looking weird, I watched that video. I sat through 73 commercials <laughs> uh, to see that video, and, and it was so, uh, it was such a letdown. Yeah, but if that, it happened to you, you no, would have been like That should that. be another law. If you're watching a 20-second clip, they can't show you a 30-second commercial. Yes, yes, Ugh. yes. Okay, sorry. Uh, but yeah, it was such a letdown because it's a pro, it's a celebrity game. Bieber go the the puck goes into the corner. Bieber's like skating slow, and the guy comes up and literally just kind of it was more like a, a hug tap thing. He like <laughs> holds him against the glass so he can't leave. Uh -uh. His yeah, face honest and truthful. His helmet was like well, because like, he's it, like his helmet was too big because it was sad. Uh, but yeah, he did not hit him. Like I was thinking Bieber was gonna get clocked, and then I'm like, oh. Bieber uh, played in the NBA All Star Weekend a few years ago, and he really? was actually pretty good. Was he really? Did they yeah. have to give him a step stool? Like, <laughs> how did that work? Still? How oh, how tall how, is Justin Bieber? Tall. I'm gonna say he's three inches taller than Wally. I'm gonna say he's five eight. I'm gonna, I'm say, gonna say five eight. Five nine. Five nine. 
Hey, no, 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 I didn't. I don't so know everything he, about you're Bieber. Five six, right? <laughs> five three six. Inches yeah, you, you were right. Justin Bieber is three inches tall. <laughs> he towers over you. Man, she is j- just killing it today. <laughs> she is. Like, what did? Wait, I, I would love for her. This is the first time Betty showed up for the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> it would be great if she showed up for the show like this. <laughs> Guys, She's, I had a trouble. rough day today. She did. Oh. She did have a rough day. I had a rough day. And we're really amped up and pumped up for later today. Oh, yeah. we're going to go gonna work out. out these mm-hmm. water guns. Whoa, whoa, let me zoom out a little bit. Those muscles are too big. <laughs> All right, there we go. Justin Bieber's 5'9". Yeah, that is weird. Uh, Becca, what do you got? Uh, so mine's just a really... Uh, a quick story, but a good one. Uh, there's this 104-year-old woman who is a regular at her local Walmart, and she met so much of the Walmart employees that they actually threw her a birthday party where what? they got her gifts. They had cake in the break room for her and everything. And Surprise birthday parties for 104-year-olds are always great because you never know how it's going to go. Yeah, it's dangerous. <laughs> but she just she's super adorable and had a really great attitude about all of it. Everyone's so friendly and nice, and I enjoy talking to them. I just worked hard all my life. <laughs> And I just it didn't get old. The past was behind me. And then I looked to the future. <laughs> I still do. Rutabaga. It's like How you just like start she? saying random things. Wow. wow. And she doesn't even see herself as getting old. That's, that's good. Awesome. Yeah. Good I think that's a good her. attitude to have and probably part of the reason that she's lived what to be hundred. What year was she born if she's hundred and four? What would that make her? Nineteen thirteen? Yeah. Yes. What? In the Whoa. World? How did you stump Zach Whoa. with that? No, I, I don't do math like Did that. we catch I do that on film? <laughs> <laughs> I think we did. Rewind the tape. That was pretty impressive there, Burger. Thank you. 1913. Wow. So you know she's And what seen happened a lot. in 1913, we all know. Yes, Betty Rock, you got Civil this right War. in a game. No. Civil War, interesting. No, it's not. That was 1860. You got this the, right in a game. The invention yes. of mm-hmm. electricity. Nope. 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 <laughs> the invention of the telephone. Nope. 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 The death penalty. The, really? No. Uh, no, that's been around forever. Boy, you got really excited about that, too. <laughs> I should There have. is something messed up no, inside I've of you. No, I've just been watching a lot of Forensic Files. I know, files, and you need to there stop. There are some people that need to stop the, what they're doing. Yes, but you need to stop watching that show. I know, it's messing me up. But yes, I'm, but it seriously. is. Seriously. <laughs> Uh, before we move on with things, uh, we do have a couple hashtag your weekends we didn't get to. Yes. And if you have one on Facebook Live, feel free to uh, comment now with it, and we can try to guess. And what we'll yours try to guess is. what happened. Let's go with Zach's because mine was lame. Uh, mine is where to go. I had hashtag a chicken on the outside. Hashtag a chicken on the outside. Oh, you uh, are supplementing your income, okay. and you are working at a chicken place, the Cluck Hut, uh-huh. and you are <laughs> actually, Hut. yes. Did you just come up with that? Uh, yeah, it's a wonderful place, <laughs> and you are uh, actually their mascot out there with a sign on the street. <laughs> yes. You know my work, yes. yes. I have, I've seen you, no, you're, I you're wish. amazing. I would love to do that. I, I did costume characters in Amusement Park for a while, and it's really fun. Really? Yeah, when people can't see your face, it's easier to be um, outgoing. My brother was the uh, the uh, mouse at Chuck E. Cheese. Like he had to do that. Really? Job. He said he hated the job. Because <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 they don't job. have a handler that travel like goes with them, right? No, 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 no. Like they, at the amusement park, you have a handler to try to keep away like the the teenagers who want to mess with you uh, and, stuff and push like that. you over yeah. and stuff. Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my word. Um, Chicken on the outside. The on I the think. Outside. Um, Anna, because it's always about Anna, wore <laughs> a red hat, and since she's bald with a red hat, someone thought she was a chicken on the outside. She's not bald. She's so bald. Her little hair's coming in, though. It's cute. <laughs> it is. Cute. No, that is not it. I think that Anna ate so many chicken nuggets that she's turning into a chicken. I wish. We... I would think she would love chicken nuggets, and we have the hardest time getting her to eat. Really? Yeah. Uh, I people, still love chicken nuggets. <laughs> some people are guessing on Facebook Live, and I think that they might have gotten it right. Did you try the new uh, Taco Bell taco with the fried chicken on the outside? Yes, oh, Dave and Ellen, you are yeah. right. Yeah. Well, it was even there. And, oh, uh, that's right. You missed it. You guys offered me a bite of that, too, and I didn't take it. I wish I had now. Uh, it was interesting because we ordered it, and the guy was like, oh, let me check. Uh, and he walks to the back for a minute or two and comes back. He's like, uh, our chicken machine thing isn't working so i don't know if we can make that like so, the slaughterhouse or yeah, I, yeah i'm like tell me tell me more yeah. what kind of machine describe are, your chicken making machine because i really want to know what that is yeah that and scares me he's like so i don't know if it works but uh, he comes back he's like we're out of beaks i don't know if we can make yeah. that uh he's like if we can figure it out we'll we'll just come bring you one for free 
And they figured it out, so we got a free one. I will hey. tell you that that Taco Bell is the worst Taco Bell. For, no, it for, seems like, fine. No, they never, ever, like, it takes forever to get your order there. And, and like, like huh. literally, like, a taco, which takes about a second to make, like, they <laughs> take forever there. I spent 15 minutes in the drive through there one day, like, like going crazy. You know what? It, I think we need to find Wally a sponsor for only $30 <laughs> a month. Yes. You can get him you delicious tacos. You guys have been tacos. complaining about everything today, too. Uh, yeah, but that is, that's I've my, never had problems there. That's my least favorite one to go to, but it's close, What's so I go to it. What's the one that you actually were screaming at people in the drive <laughs> Panda Express. Express. Oh. Panda Express. I was yelling at the people behind me because I was blocked. I'm like, don't come in here! Save yourself! Dude, I've been here for 25 minutes! Stop! And then the lady, the speaker's like, I can hear you, sir. And I'm like, good! I've been here for 25 minutes! I'm starting to go through Stockholm Syndrome! You get a spray horrible. paint, you're spreading over Express and all the signs. Yes, it was all oh my goodness. And then, and then, and of course, in that moment... And then they brought food to you in your car? Yes. That's amazing. In that moment, you're like... I am never coming back here. You're going to get a really bad uh, review. And then the next day you're driving home going, man, I could use some orange chicken. <laughs> sure enough, right back in the drive back and in you the know drive what? That's another thing that should be illegal because Culver's is bad about this. But they you own order, up to it. No. What is Culver's order, bad about? You order at the drive-thru, and then they're like, okay, that will be out in a minute. Can you pull forward? Oh, no, yeah. They, I will they not give you a number forward. that you put on your car. I'm sorry. Dumb. Do you not want fresh food no. delivered quickly? <laughs> I'm at the window. You can give me the fresh food when I'm at the window. I will not pull forward. You will give it to me at the window. Have them ready. For just $38 a month, your very own Betty can have the emotional support that she needs to get through this trying time. She needs time. a sponsor. Bring on the death penalty. Because <laughs> I think that I, uh, I think that I probably my bad Taco Bell experience and waiting forever oh, in line like, oh, I was you were because about, like a belly thing. No, my bad Taco Bell experience was because I was in line behind somebody like Becca making her order. Yes, I'm number seven with extra creamy jalapeno on the chicken quesadilla with a soft taco and a large diet Pepsi with light ice and a nacho with an extra side of cheese. Wow. And sometimes if I'm feeling frisky, I get an extra taco. What wow. in the world just happened That's there? That's crazy. Like I that. Right now, if I'm the guy in the drive-thru, I go, pull forward. Oh, they know. <laughs> and you're just, you're just getting whatever I, uh, I'm going to get at that point. They know who I am because they always go, hey, how are you doing today? And I go, I'm doing well. How are you? And they go, oh, we're out and ready. And I sit, and so I start it, and they're like, and a nacho. And I'm like, yeah, with an exercise side of nacho cheese. So well, they know me. Wait, wow. they're like, we need one, Becca. You yeah. get a nacho <laughs> with extra cheese? Yeah, they do not give you enough nacho cheese. Do not get me started on this. So, so it the is little, not enough. The little cup of so, cheese. It is not enough. They give, it they, is not enough. Okay, because you have I to dip that. it on, and then you have to have enough to eat with your finger at the end. There's the problem. Yes. And for an easy payment of $38 yes. a month. And that Guys. Might, and that might be why Becca's is... going to work out today. <laughs> okay, oh, oh, let's celebrate. Yes. Okay, so after we after we exercise, let's go to Taco Bell and Crystals. <laughs> <laughs> Some of us actually have a hard time losing weight. Yeah. Some yeah. of us. I still don't even know why Betty's going. <laughs> if no. she loses any more weight, she's going to blow away. I will say this. I have a theory that my body is so used to Taco Bell that it metabolizes it better because I never get sick. Everyone complains about that. Never really? get sick. And I feel like those are the days I just don't, I don't feel fat and I don't gain weight from it. So I, I think that my really? body is made for Taco Bell. So Maybe you should go on a Taco Bell Let's diet. Go. Let's do this. No, because I guess because the the day is planned out. It's okay. It's like my fry diet, you my fry it. You should be a, on a Taco Bell diet and see. Like that guy that uh, uh, Jared that went to Subway or that other guy that ate McDonald's. Like you should try one of those like crazy ludicrous Ooh, things. I had some McDonald's chicken nuggets on a Friday night. Amazing. Oh yeah, you were on that kick for a I while, and a then kick. you got off that. Kick. I got off that. Kick. Are you back? Are you getting ready? No, I'm get okay. Get back on the no, horse. No, that there? was a rough part of my life. I needed the. <laughs> you chicken needed nuggets. the nuggets. Sometimes you just have those orders that are just sent from above. And you're yes, like, this is and they the do it perfectly. Like had. sometimes yeah. it's all burnt, and you're like, yeah, I don't like that. Oh, oh. <laughs> All I right. feel like we're done. we're falling apart. Yeah, today. I think we're good uh, here for today for the precast, and so that is gonna. Sorry, we didn't us. get to your hashtags. That's all right. Well, do, are there any? Yeah, there's lots. Oh, for real? Uh, right, I'll pick one at random. Uh, uh, hashtag spring sing fever. Um, spring sing fever. Wow. I think that you were doing spring cleaning. And then you started singing, mm -hmm. and then you got a fever. Oh, wow. That was I took brutal. it very literally. That was really, yes, you did. The I, idea is not to take it quite as literally, but that was good. I think that this person had a child that was in a spring play, 
they had a big part to sing, and then they got a fever and they couldn't get out of it. Uh, I think um, they had a box of springs and uh, they spilled on the floor and they chased them all around, and got worked up into a fever. Ah, uh, that's horrible. Yeah, that's <laughs> terrible. Can I, can I punch out? Yes, <laughs> I think we all should at this point. Okay, that's gonna do. I don't think that was anybody. I don't even know what happened. Well, I don't you, know. You didn't guess yet. Oh, mine was not going to be no better than that. <laughs> All right, that's going to have to do it for the old precast today. So finally, we can say on with the podcast. <laughs>